Hello, and welcome to Minecraft Black Clover 100 Days. Anime spoilers only. In this video, you'll see me get my grimoire, use anti-magic, unlock black mode, and fight my version of the Dark Triad. I have 100 days to train in order to defeat some of the strongest bosses I've ever faced. Will I be strong enough to win? So... When you first start off, you are born as a random race with a random magic attribute, and you can't really choose which type of magic you want and what race to be born with. However, for this playthrough, I do want to use anti-magic because I heard it's one of the best, and I think it'd be more fun to play as Asta. So I'm telling you now, I'm going to change what I start off with. But comment down below, which type of magic would you use if you were in Black Clover? So now, as you can see, I am a human with anti-magic and i am level one our first goal in this playthrough is we're actually going to get our grimoire and with that will come our first weapon however in order to get our grimoire we first need to reach level five currently the only ways to level up in this mod is if you use your skills and abilities which we don't have yet because we have anti-magic or to stay these mobs here called bandits and these bandits are actually pretty strong early game so we're going to try to gear up first so that we can actually kill him. Although anti-magic may be one of the strongest abilities, it is also the weakest when you first start off. Please, if you're going to talk about manga spoilers, put a spoiler tag in your comments. So yeah, these are the bandits here. And if I fight them right now, I'm like pretty much dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we got a first enemy. Nope. Come on, give me something good. We got iron. So it's actually kind of a interesting story of how I got into Black Clover. I usually listen to a lot of anime music when I'm exercising or like just walking to class. And one of YouTube recommendations was actually uh, the first opening of Black Clover. I saw that it had a lot of views, so I was just curious. And I clicked on the video and man, dude, the first opening is pretty good. I enjoyed it a lot and then my younger brother he told me the third opening was even better and then I listened to it and I was like wow this is also really good and then I listened to the 10th the opening and I was like I ended up watching all the openings with the visuals on Crunchyroll and man they definitely did a good job. I don't know, it just made me feel like Black Clover was such a unique anime like it had such a unique atmosphere feeling. I might die here. I need food. Diamonds? It's literally day one and we have diamonds. Okay, that is sick. Yo, finally. Your boy just ate a whole cake. Also, this is like my fifth attempt at this playthrough because I kept dying so many times. But we're almost ready to take on the bandits. But yeah, Black Clover. I I think it's a good anime, even though it's it has a lot of shonen tropes. I like it. I think Asta, he's like one of the most inspirational characters at anime. All right, I think I am a little more confident that we can take on this group of bandits. There we go. Yeah. Ah, dang it, the fire. Freaking fire. Stole my kill. Oh my goodness, dude, they're taking all my kills. What? Oh, dude. Okay. So as you can see, I got 50 XP for killing that. Oh, that's a lot of them. Okay, so this dragon just started chasing me and I think it's going to kill me. Yo, 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 yo. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. I have to get out of here. Perfect escape. Yeah, that dragon literally almost killed me from full health. Uh, yeah, this is terrifying. You see it? You see it? Pretty sure it's trying to get down here right now. My shield didn't even work against it. Ah, great. Yeah, it's currently too powerful for me. I will fight that dragon one day. Oh no. Oh no. Woo. Luckily, I set my respawn point right here. Before... What the... Get away from me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Dude. I literally right-clicked that bed. And it didn't set my... Turned into KFC. Are you kidding me? Back to square one. At least there's another castle next to the one I previously raided. I'm pretty close to level five. We're almost there. I'm going to try to gear up from this castle and then slay more bandits after that. So we can finally get our grimoire. Yo, they have protection for these castles are seriously OP. Oh, nice. And it looks like we have finally reached level 5. So we can get our Grimoire and obtain our first anti-magic weapon and perhaps a new ability. So I just have to find a mage tower and I'll be right back. And looks like we finally found a mage tower. Finally, I can show you guys some anti-magic abilities. Can I please have my Grimoire? Yes. So we finally got it. It's not actually... In my inventory but you can see it when i do spell mode so we have the five leaf clover grimoire and with that i think we have our first spell yes we have bull thrust that is our first spell so one of the things about this mod is that it's actually impossible to get the anti-magic swords naturally so we decided to give ourselves an anti-magic sword for every major milestone like when we defeat a boss or complete a dungeon also if you guys remember the moment Asta got his five leaf grimoire, he got his first sword. So we're going to give ourselves the Demon Slayer sword. So as you can see here, we have the Demon Slayer sword. It's actually normal color because it hasn't been touched by anti-magic yet. But the moment we grab it like so, it turns black, which is pretty cool. And we can now use our ability, Bull Thrust. So yeah, we got our first ability, finally. So we're going to test out our new sword and bull thrust on a couple enemies just to see how much stronger we've gotten. All right, looks like we found some bandits and we can finally test our powers out. Oh my guess, I almost just died. Oh, I still have to figure out how I'm going to use this properly. Right, let's try this again. Interesting. I can also use it to dodge their spells. Nope. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I am going... Dang, dude. These guys are strong, man. This is... Nuts, yo. And we got him. At least, I feel like I can finally do something. I know it's anti-magic, but it feels like magic, in a way. So, basically, how this mod works is... The higher you level up, the more spells you can unlock. And since I'm only level 5, I only have Bolt Rust. We're going to try to reach level 100 and to unlock all the spells so that we can defeat the Dark Triad at the end of the 100 days. Because as I am now, there is no way I'm winning. However, there is one other cool little feature that this mod has, which will help us in getting stronger significantly faster. Oh, I love doing that. Here, let me show you. If you looked carefully, we have these trees. Well, what's so special about them is the type of tree they are. They're actually kind of sturdy, but to show you, I need to get up there. So if I break this tree, what drops is Moguro, Moguro, <laughs> Moguro leaves. And if you remember from the anime, very early on, these are one of the things that Asta used to make his Moguro leaf juice. So, if I get this glass bottle, and then these leaves, you get the Mogoro leaf juice. And if you drink it, 
you get this effect called the magic multiplier and what it does is it increases how much xp you get every time you use your abilities or you kill one of the bandits i don't think it'll help us that much though because we do have anti-magic but hey i will take anything i can get i'm just gonna try to level up as fast as i can so that i can show you guys what other abilities we have Oh my goodness, yo. <laughs> that was a close one. Oh, it's not over. It's not over. Okay, now it's over. After dying to another dragon, I spent the next couple days grinding bandits and looting castles so that I could get my next spell. Yo, finally. Level 15. Dude, this took forever. It's literally day 37. And I've been spamming my abilities so that I can level up as fast as I can. But now that we're level 15, we actually unlocked two more spells. We have the Black Slash and the Causality Break. The thing about these two spells is that it actually requires the other swords of Asta. So now that we're actually level 15 and we've unlocked our spells, we're going to try to get our second sword. So I'm going to go look for a good dungeon right now. All right, guys. So after a couple days of fighting more bandits and trying to level up, we found ourselves dungeon. Although I have to spam these abilities just to level up, at least they're quite fun. Uh, why are they all... They have strength? Oh, I guess he's the guy who's buffing them. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I hate witches. Yeah, we're not dealing with that right now. Ooh, we got a gapple. Yeah, this really is a dungeon. You can tell by how often these things are spawning. Nope. Oh my goodness, that was a ghost one. Last protection. Okay, I might die if I'm not careful. Yo. No! That's the exact thing I wanted to avoid. Alright guys, we basically reset, got some items back because I couldn't find my stuff, but I think we're gonna try our hand at this dungeon. I'm gonna be actually a lot more careful and make sure that I'll respawn here. Let's take care of this dungeon so that we can get our second sword. And go at the top. Oh no, I don't like this guy. No, no. Oh my goodness, dude. These guys are so strong. Since I wasn't satisfied with that dungeon, I decided to look for two more to make sure I truly deserved our second sword. Blue! What? Oh my goodness, that's so weird. Oh man, so I have to spam this pickaxe. Who cares if we don't get the item? Ah, oh, we got him. Dude, this guy's harder than the Ender Dragon. Now that we killed a boss and we completed three dungeons, I think it's fair to give ourselves our next weapon, the Demon Dweller Sword. There we go, guys. We have the Demon Dweller Sword. And now that we have it, I can finally show you all my other anti-magic ability. All right, guys. So I just found another bandit camp and I will show you all. We have... Black Slash. So we finally have a 
projectile move. And we also unlocked another ability called causality break, except it removes all the effects from me. So these two abilities actually require my third sword, the demon destroyer sword, which we're going to get later. We're actually going to be going to the nether for two reasons. One, because I found out you can actually craft Yami's katana. And because we're Asta, we are going to need Yami's sword and you can enchant it, thankfully. And the way you make it is you will need a netherite scrap and smith it with an iron sword. We just have two more swords to go and then we'll be able to use all of our abilities. And we still have a couple more abilities left. We just need to unlock them by leveling up a couple more levels. Yeah, I'm going to make another portal and we'll be right back. No, no, nope. Oh, oh, oh. And I still haven't found a lava pool, but I do see some obsidian there. So let me check this out. All right, it is another time. I've added a lot of mods here. So this whole playthrough is kind of unpredictable. And well, dude, are you kidding me? It's like this world is actively always trying to kill me. Whoa, it's like the trees are upside down. And we also have these new creatures I've added. We've also unlocked a new spell. We've unlocked Black Divider. I guess we can test it out on this guy if you all want. And it makes my sword bigger. So Black Divider, 20 damage. Okay, so it increases my damage by 7 if I use my Demon Slayer sword. But we need to get Netherite Scrap. That's what we need. Should I try Bull Thrust across this lava? I don't know. Let's do it. Oh my guess. Okay, yeah, I am I should stop doing that. Yo, guys, so I also just found out something really OP, and that's really good news for us. If I actually use Black Divider, my XP just keeps going up as long as it's active. So we're getting free passive XP. <laughs> I can even combine it with uh, Bull Thrust. Yes, we got the Ancient Debris. Okay, perfect. So we're good. We can uh, just set out. We don't want to be greedy. I think the next thing we're going to look for is a dungeon to get our demon destroyer sword and we should be good to use all of our abilities. While in the nether, I ended up finding two dungeons and a creepy maze but ended up finding nothing really valuable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So now we finally have Yami's katana. It looks cool. It does as much damage as my Demon Driller Sword, but the cool thing about this is you can enchant it. Really quick, this video took way more work than my Bleach 100 days, so if you like this kind of videos, please consider pressing like and subscribe because I really want to be the YouTube Wizard King. Thank you, and you're amazing. Bro, come on. Nope. Are you... I tried looking to these structures for diamonds and I still need one more. There is a chance that this dragon's nest has a diamond. However, they are like ridiculously powerful. Let's go see if the dragon's home. And if it is, we'll have to fight it. I don't see it now. Maybe it's gone. Oh, looks like the dragon's back. Yeah, it's probably headed for us right now. All right, let's take this guy out. It can literally one-shot us. Black Slash. Yes, we took care of him. Screw you, dragon. This mod has given me a new hate for dragons. But we still need to find one more diamond. Ooh, we can actually use these anvils. For Yami's blade, we have sharpness 5. So that is now currently our strongest weapon. Alright guys, so it looks like our next alternative is to go into this dungeon. The deal is, if we take care of this dungeon, then we will give ourselves the demon destroyer sword. And last time I died here, cause poison somehow killed me I think. Nope. You're done. I don't remember these guys! That's enough. Yes, diamonds! 
Oh no. I wonder if these rooms really are supposed to be empty. Whoa. Yo, what is that? Oh no 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 no! Haha, <laughs> he's too big. Black Slash! What is this place? Huh. Yeah, we cleared the tower successfully, which means we can reward ourselves. As our reward, we will be giving ourselves the last sword, the demon destroyer sword. All right, there it is. And as soon as we pick it up, it gets filled with anti-magic. Now we can use our other abilities, causality break, and we have causality break. So as you can see, we currently have the bad omen effect, but if we use our spell, we no longer have it, which is pretty useful. We will unlock black mode after enough levels, and that'll give us like a pretty strong health and strength boost. But you see, there is a reason that we got Yami's blade first, and I will show you that right now. After days of searching, I finally found the strong mana region, where every kill and ability would increase our XP even further. However, since black mode didn't protect me like in the anime, I temporarily switched to dark magic so that we could spend a final day's training here and so that I could show you all some dark magic abilities. Hey, welcome back guys. It is day 108. Yes, we're past 100 days, but I wanted to spend extra time training and increasing our level and we managed to get to level 50. As you can see from the new max XP, it is really hard to level up here, but I did a lot of fighting and it is now time to fight the Dark Triad. But because I didn't reach level 100 and I'm currently not strong enough, we do have a special guest. We are bringing to the fight Yami Sekiro with Dark Magic. Alright, let's do this. Come on, we have Yami who's using Dark Magic. Oh. Black Divider. Come on. Oh man.
Looks like black hole doesn't actually activate. <laughs> Yami is stuck in a hole, bro. That's not a Yami thing. No! He's stuck with him. Oh my goodness. While he's distracted. Gonna activate black form. Oh no, he's used the black hole on Yami. He also has a black hole ability. Looks like he's distracted. And he can summon his own minions. I'll have to take care of these. Oh, perfect. I can get up now. I have to take care of this one. There we go. Tommy needs help. However, I can do. Ready? Black meteorite. I can only do that a few times. Looks like I have to change swords to my sharpness 5. Black divider. This will hopefully give me more damage. I do defeat. Oh no. My black form ran out and I'm stuck in his black hole ability. Good thing I have protection 5. Oh no. I'm starting to lose health. I have to eat. My second gap. Oh no, these guys. Oh, looks like we defeated him. Because I wasn't quite satisfied with my fight with the Dark Triad, I decided to have a 1v1 with Yami. Best out of three to see who would win. Let's see. Which is stronger in this mod? Dark magic or light magic? What? I can't. Ah, come on. Oh, man, I do, like, no damage to him. <laughs> Bull trust. Maybe he had a... I think it's because he had a gapple. However, it's time to stop playing games. Oh. I was trying to use my... We are using... Black mode. <laughs> he is. I can't. Oh, I can't even hit him. He's using a dark cocoon. However, that doesn't last forever. We're too powerful. I yeah. He ate a gap. Oh, black divider. That's it. Black meteorite. Oh my goodness. I don't have black foam anymore. I already used it. I have to dodge every move he has. Looks like he's just playing defensively. He definitely ate a gap. Oh no. Oh my goodness. I have to eat one too. Yami is physically and magically pretty powerful. Must be because he has uh, sharpness 5 and my armor isn't the best. Oh, I can use this as a combo move. Oh, now he's... I think he might have ran out of mana, but... Look at his health. Come on, Black Divider. Sixty-two damage. Yo! I think the witch attacked him. If I can get him to the creeper. I'm using everything I can to my advantage. I think he's he's almost dead.
This is fun. <laughs> oh, he's chasing. Oh, that was a close one. Black slash. He's one shot to end it all. Really? You took my kill! Thank you so much for watching this scuffed playthrough of Minecraft Black Over 100 Days. Here's some videos you might like, and I'll see you all next time.